Hi guys, it's Master Coach Tony Morgan again and today's video is a continuation of part one on this Worcester Green Star R28 HE system boiler and I said to you in the last video what you think the fault is why this boiler won't turn off while the heating is constantly heating up and I've shown you these controls here and there's a timer this is in your garage so what I've done, I've looked a bit more closer to this and let's investigate. Right, I noticed the lever on this, this is down. Let's see if it moves across, so it's moving across like that. And this is 28 mil, that pipe work. Maybe that's for the heating. And then the one next door I noticed if you look in comparison you can see that one's down a lot this one's jammed up and if you look at it a bit more you can, I think it's behind the tab as well so that's not going to help so let's see if we can release it no it's really jammed that's not moving Nope. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn off the power and see if I can hear that move, especially this one here, see if that moves across. So that's a good clue to see if it's actually activated or not. So there's the spur switch. I'm going to turn it off here. No, it did move, so it did energise, but this one mustn't have moved. So we're going to see what's going on, what's actually controlling this one, and what's controlling this one. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to, I've turned everything off, you can see the programme is off. So I'm going to press this selector button here. That's on, so it's on. Now, this one moved. That's this one. So that one's for the hot water. As a thought, because it's on the 22 mil pipe. So that's a hot water one. Now I'm going to turn the hot water off. that's off now and you see it move so let's do the heating one that's a heating one so it did move like the hot water one so that doesn't appear to be functioning but yet they're saying the heating's on and can't control it so that's your first bit of observation what you would do to see or to pinpoint the fault. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to locate the room thermostat and see if that's turned up and see if that's the reason why this zone valve didn't move. So this is a room thermostat. I'm just going to turn it up like that. So I'm just turning it up now. So I'm going to check the zone valve in the garage. So that is working because it's now moved because you can see it's gone up like before. So if I turn the program off now because the room stat is now on. So let's just turn that off. Should see some movement now. No, nope, it's not off yet. That's it. So, both appear to be moving and operating as they should. But as I said, the customer is saying this complaint is, is not turning off despite the room thermostat was turned off. So now, our next sort of route 
what I'll be looking for is to see if when the program is off that there's no power coming out of the orange because the orange is the switch line going out to the boiler so we need to see if there's no power on that orange or any of the oranges so that's what we're going to do so you put your multimeter across orange and neutral and check for voltage and see what's happening so we can confirm by putting it across orange and neutral and multimeter I did get 240 volts so that means there's a feed onto the boiler because it's going up the orange switch live to the boiler to bring it on so I can't show it right now because I'm on my own doing this video but I'm just talking it through so here's another clue these zone valves Drayton are notorious for doing this problem so if you see that basically the heat won't turn off and they've got a Drayton zone valve notorious for doing this particular fault so what we're going to do now we're going to test between the two points here but I'm going to remove one of the oranges first and then test voltage across the remaining orange to see if power's there depending which one it is then that's the valve what's faulty and what's wants replacing right so what you can see now is I've removed one of the wires as you can see I turn the power back on and basically is what I thought and basically this is the one which is given the power and that one is this one so it's a central heating one which a customer is saying the heating's on can't turn it off because it's basically run all the time and it's because the micro switch inside the zone valve's gone and sending power constantly to the orange and bringing the boiler on so that's going to be it really that's good for this particular fault these are quite easy to change you don't have to do a drain down you can just take the head off and then replace it and then obviously rewire it in and use my technique which I've shown numerous times on my videos how to change that so we don't get confused basically what you're going to do is cut the wire cut it here first pull it out put your new wire in and then change one at a time then you'll get confused and Bob's your uncle so that's the full diagnostic on what to do in this situation on this particular valve so hopefully that video was good for you in this fault finding this type of situation and that's going to be it from me and I'll see you in the next video bye for now but well, before I go like I said on the last video go to my new YouTube channel subscribe on that and then because you'll see all my future videos on there so that's it from me bye for now